Howdy everyone, happy Thanksgiving. We're Sunbasket, and today we're gonna show you how to brine a turkey. Today we're gonna show you how to dry brine. Here's how it works. Inside the meat are proteins in the shape of coils, and there are water molecules. When you add salt to the outside of the meat, it gets absorbed, and the charged chloride ions in the salt loosen up those protein coils, allowing more space for water molecules. And in effect, making the turkey extra juicy for your eating pleasure. To start the brine, you'll need peppercorn, coriander, rosemary, thyme, brown sugar, cayenne, kosher salt, bay leaves, baking soda, lemons, an orange, and the queen mama turkey. Get a pan nice and hot and roast that peppercorn and coriander. In the meantime, you can de-stem and chop up the herbs. When the peppercorn starts to pop, take it out and grind it up with the herbs. Zest the lemons and the orange. Zest it! And mix it with the rest of your ingredients. Pat the turkey dry and sprinkle on that herbaceous magic fairy dust. It's massage time. Give this bird some love. Oh yeah. Show it you care. It is the holidays after all. Next, wrap your creation in a big plastic bag, tie it tight, and figure out something to do for one to three days. Hey guys, what are we gonna do while we're waiting for the turkey to brine? Yeah. Take your bird out of the refrigerator, wipe her clean, and let her get to room temp. It's herb butter making time. To start, you'll need time. Oh, A stick of butter, lemon, rosemary, and garlic. Chop up your herbs and your garlic and add them to the butter. Sprinkle on some salt, some pepper, and mash it up. Zest the lemon? Yeah. Gently peel back the skin and start to loosen it from the meat. Take the herb butter and rub it onto the meat under the skin. Toss in some veggies and herbs. Today we're using a cut onion, rosemary, and thyme. If you have any extra herb butter, you can melt it and pour it on. Have your oven preheated to 425, but right after you put the turkey in, turn it down to 350. Have a dance party for two and a half to three hours. You want the internal temp to be between 150 and 160, and after you take it out of the oven, it rises to about 165. Now it's time to make it look nice. Take photos of the bird with your team. Cut into the tender flesh and eat, eat. 